Hello there. I thought it was time that I showed you um, my stack. <laughs> you can't see them. Just a little bit. My stack of um, scrappy socks. Because I needed uh, a few. Um, I think this is the first pair I started. Back in 2012, I think. Yes. I had so many scraps of uh, sock yarn left and I thought, what, what am I going to do with it? So I thought, wouldn't it be cute to um, combine them and make one pair? But the pair um, is definitely not identical. So sometimes I do the the cuffs and the heel and the toes the same but sometimes I'm sh I just I just let it go and um, see where the where the yarn takes me I started knitting um, normal socks so to speak uh, in 2009 when I picked up knitting after a long period of um, non knitting I did some other things but um, I can never sit still, so I have to do something. But I picked up knitting just after my mother died in 2009. Um, and I just love the process. I love the process of uh, slow stitching your way to a finished product. So that's what I do, and I still do it. Um, so here we have a pair where obviously the heels, the toes and the cuffs are made in black. I never knit in black, but these short parts are, are doable. So I made an exception. And this one is also different. The cuffs, the toes and the heels are totally different. And I have um, branched out from that. This is a later pair where I didn't uh, knit all the, the, the whole sock in um, stockinette stitch, but I made a, a sort of a rib two by two. So that's two knit, two purl. And I, I, I always start my socks from the toe up with um, usually 12 stitches. And I, I knit them two at a time. Uh, and when I come to the heel, I place, that's what you can see here, I place either um, a stitch marker like this at the point where my f the sock um, measures, in my case, 19 centimeters. And that is approximately five centimeters before my finished um, measurement on my foot so because you need about five centimeters to knit uh, the heel here two and a half and two and a half so that's when i place the stitch marker or and i don't have an example right now i i knit at the same spot um, a piece of scrap yarn and continue knitting the leg and the cuff and then I pick up the stitches underneath that piece of yarn and above that piece of yarn or in this case I pick up the stitches below just one row below the stitch marker and above one row above the stitch marker and I pick up all the stitches and I do them um, both on the same needle, the magic loop method, so I can knit them uh, two at the same time. So when I'm finished with the sock, I have a pair. And I will uh, make a link to, I did a, a small tutorial in five parts about knitting the afterthought heel with the use of um, a stitch marker so that you can can watch that and maybe learn from it 
if you if you want these are very similar because I used a lot of the same uh, yarn in this pair but they're not the same they just they're f I always call them fraternal twins because they like they are a pair but they are not identical let me see this one was also one of the the earliest pairs I made and I use commercial yarn and indie dyed yarn I don't have much indie dyed yarn but when I have it I um, I, I use it and I even use small bits in scrappy socks because I like having them on my feet when the autumn and the winter comes and um, I like to wear them these are all mine I, I knitted some for people and I gave them away my sister has some but my sister likes them uh, knitted with a double thread so instead of my usual knitting needle uh, two millimeters which is rather a thin needle but I'm a loose knitter so I need that to get um, a good fabric but she likes them with a double thread and those ones I knit on a four millimeter and she also likes them with short cuffs so they're quick to make <laughs> and I love to make socks for her she she knits them herself now she knows how to do it I like these too I think I, I used some uh, minis I bought on the internet somewhere I don't know I I'm so bad at remembering what brand and I, I don't remember that often these are very light and colorful this is a short rib a short cuff sometimes I do that oh I know this this is from um, an indie a Dutch indie dyer named undercover utter otter she has uh, a sock yarn brand that is called squirm you really should check her out she's amazing she dyes the, the most amazing colors and this is I don't know don't ask me the name because I don't know but this is definitely a yarn from her I know I know oh there's a hole Ooh, I have to fix that see that's what happens when your socks are eight year old eight years old you know no sh shame in that I, I wear them all the time in autumn and winter so sometimes they hold up sometimes they don't that's life this isn't a more a more recent pair I like them especially the gray the gray toes cuffs and heels that's that's a way if you if you're struggling to make them a pair that's the one tip um, you you can use maybe you use the, the same yarn for the cuff the toes and um, the heels that will uh, make them coherent you know make them go well together sometimes I try what's the where's the pair that I try to is this the one no oh this here it is that's the one where I try to do um, I, I think it's my only pair where I try to make scrappy socks but do them with the same yarns in in the same kind of intervals you know I don't count the rows but I just because I knit them two at a time it always goes smoothly if if you uh, want them to look identical or sort of identical I, I just don't like identical socks for me I like them to be scrappy these are sort of scrappy because I used some for the cuffs and some for the toes and 
the heels and otherwise I used a solid color which gives um, well a totally different effect but I like it the same for these I used a commercial yarn a gray beautiful gray commercial yarn and I used some of my hand dyed yarn which I dyed about I don't know four years ago I don't have I don't have anything of, of this left I, I made a small amount and used it all up these socks are a bit thicker but I also combined the red with um, with the colorful cuffs this is one yarn this is not these are not separated yarns all one yarn and this is the latest pair oh it, I have three pairs that I need um, to film to show you how to make an afterthought heel I already have a tutorial I will link it below but well maybe I can do it better so these are waiting for the heels and these I like the green in the end here and I think I will use the, the same green for the afterthought heels the afterthought heel is really nothing more nothing less than a, a toe because I pick up the stitches and make a toe and that's my heel like here see oh here I pick up the stitches and just decrease until I have about 12 stitches again just the the same amount as I started the toe with so the toe is identical to the heel it's for me it's the easiest easiest way to knit a heel I know some people uh, are so afraid to cut in in their knitting but really it's just it's just that one stitch that you cut and you um, remove the thread and they the stitches can't go anywhere because you have um, placed a needle here and a needle there so they can't go anywhere you, do, you, you end up with a big hole that you have to um, close but it's really it's really not no big no big deal just cut this one and it it will be easy I promise so these are my socks I hope um, I can give you some inspiration to knit your own um, we have a group on Facebook that's called the scrappy sock knitters and um, we are almost at 2,300 2, members from all over the world it's amazing it's amazing what people bring to the table and to the group <laughs> so if you would like to join please do okay bye